We're getting all packed up. The evenings are getting cooler. The leaves are starting to change. In fact, in my yard, some of the birch tree leaves are falling on the ground. What does that mean? The Ontario bear hunt is upon us. I can't wait to get up to Gitchy's KB cabins. We're taking off bright and early tomorrow morning. We're gonna go after a big old bear. We're gonna do some fishing as well. We're gonna go after walleye and big pike too. What I'm really excited about, I get to bring my favorite weapon of all time, my Matthews bow, to go after this big old bear. Can't wait to get up there. We're going to the Algoma region of Ontario. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself, and who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. Been more excited about this trip to Agich's KB Cabins in the Algoma region of Ontario. Bull hunting for bear and fishing for walleye, pike, and perch. Pretty hard to ask for more action packed potential. Definitely the best of both worlds, but first, I'd have to board a float plane at White River Air, who specialize in safe and efficient travel to destinations like Agich's KB Cabins. We no sooner got my gear packed than it was time to take off. All I gotta tell you, my adrenaline was already pumping. Then before I knew it, we were there. Stu and his staff were there to meet me at the dock and get my gear unpacked. Talk about friendly service. As far as the accommodations, I couldn't have asked for anything more inviting and comfortable. We drove in to White River which is in the Algoma region of Ontario last night. Little fun fact about White River, it is the home of Winnie the Pooh. We spent the night in a hotel last night, got up bright and early, flew into Agich's KB Cabins. We're gonna go get checked in, unpacked, hit the lake and see what it has to offer. I have a feeling from what I've seen on their social media page, there is a ton of walleyes and a lot of northerns too. Let's get this thing going. Stuart, you ready to go catch some fish? Let's go, let's see if we can get Moby Dick there. Can't wait, I like the sounds of that. Okay, we're gonna head to, down towards Whitefish Bay. A little deeper. A little deeper water down there, yeah. A little bigger fish probably, maybe. I hope so, yep. Yeah. Sweet, let's go find them. Yep, let's get at her. There's a fish, he's on the board. Might be a pike. Could be. Take an off leg one. A little weight to him though, no. We'll just say it's got some big walleye. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad one, Stu, huh? First one of the day, there we go. Sweet. Not Moby, but. <laughs> There you go. It's not a bad first start. Sweet. Now oh, these are so pretty, aren't they? Shore lunch? Yeah, we could have some shore lunch. Which yeah. side you got it in there? You're not gonna talk to me on a shore lunch, are <laughs> you? This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Got him. Feels like another nice one. Walleye. Walleye for stew. 
Another eater. Got him. There you go. Sweet. Popped right out for you. Did it? Yep. There we go. Easy. Get that into there. Sweet. That's a good eater. Yeah, that's a good eater. Looks like we're eating some shore lunch today. Yeah. Two in the box. Stu is uh, doing better than I am with the jig in the middle. <laughs> I did lose what I would think would be a pike on this jigging wrap, but it seems like every time we go over this, it's just a little drop off. We're coming off and we either get a bite or we get a fish. So we're not fishing a very big spot. It's a spot on a spot. So we might have to even think about anchoring if possible. It's a little windy, so it makes it tough, but otherwise we'll just make short drifts. But we got two in the box. We're gonna have a nice little shore lunch for sure. There it is. I got him again. You got him that time. Yeah. Same rock. Same spot. Looking straight at me now. It feels like you might have a little bit of weight to this one. Got some weight? Oh, there it is. Ah, it's a fighter. That's ah, not a bad one there. Nope. Nice fish. I guess you can eat tonight. Yeah, yep. We're all eating tonight, huh? It's a fat one. Boy, they're nice and that. healthy in the system, aren't they? Yep. That they are. Oh, oh, I got one too. <laughs> I just yeah. uh, set the, kept my line out there, but I set the rod down. I picked it up after I netted his fish, and guess what? Double! <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's really interesting. These fish do not want anything erratic. I was using a jigging wrap and I did lose one, but dragging just a jig with a minnow or even jigging plastics would work too right now, but you're not giving it a whole lot of erratic action at all. It's just a, you're basically dragging it along the bottom and they're coming by, they want an easy meal and they're just picking it up. With that right there, the great KV cabins walleye for sure lunch, so we're gonna eat good tonight. So what a great day, a nice start. It was a fun time out in the boat with Stu. We got into some walleyes, had a double. It was a great, great start to this trip. But you know what? When I got off the plane, Stu said, there is some big bears on camera. Ken went out to set up our blind, and he's gonna be pulling the chip. We're gonna get back to the lodge right now and check out what he found. We're gonna get a little bite to eat, get a few shots in, and head out and see if we can connect on one of those big old bears. So. Fun, fun start to the day. Yes, sir. All right, let's get back in. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a good sized bear. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, she's a big dry sow. Well, we'll get her out of the system. Well, we're, we're gonna go try it. Anyway. <laughs> that's right. That's all you can do is try. It's still <laughs> yeah, hunting, yeah. right? Oh yeah. yeah. She's been kicking around here all, well, ever since I started baiting. She hasn't left. She's kind of pushed all the other bears out of the the area too, hasn't she? Oh yeah, yeah, she's the only one around. I see one, there's one little tiny guy that's following her around, but you don't <laughs> see him very much. I think I got maybe three pictures of him. Yeah. He's probably about the size of my dog. Sure. <laughs> cool, well that looks like a good shooter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try and get her. Awesome, well let's get all uh, set up and we'll, we'll head out there. All right, sounds good. Whenever I'm on a bow hunt, I definitely like to make sure I get some practice shots in before any sit no matter where and what I'm hunting for. It's just a smart way to make sure I'm on my A game and ready to rock and roll. So, with a few shots, I was ready to go. Our fall hunt is finally here. I can't believe I've been waiting all summer long for this Ontario fall bear hunt. We got off the plane and right away Stu was in my ear telling me how many bears he's got on camera and some really nice ones. Uh, we got some weather coming in so we decided to go strictly uh, tent. We're going out of a blind instead of hunting out of a stand. So we're gonna head out there right now and I think uh, the odds are good we're gonna get one. That said, it was time to take off by boat to the hunting site with KB's knowledgeable bear guide, Ken. And again, I couldn't have been more excited as I loaded my bow case and accessories. We untied from the dock and he put the motor in gear.
we're almost there. My heart's already starting to pick up. It's amazing what hunting big game animals does to a person's adrenaline and their heartbeat and everything that goes along with it. That's why, to me, hunting big game, bears, whitetail, no matter what it is, is so much fun. You know, not only the meat, the, the passion of hunting, it, it all comes together and, and, and makes hunting what it is for, for people like myself and a lot of other you know, passionate hunters out there. So, let's see what happens. This segment is brought to you by Go Hunt Ontario. So we're out for our first full day. Stu and I are gonna go after some more walleyes. Yesterday we got in the lake after we flew in, caught a bunch of walleyes for a few hours and then uh, headed to, to our bear site and uh, didn't see anything, but uh, she's around, she's definitely around. They got her on cam, so hopefully tonight we'll head back out there. But for now, we're gonna spend the morning, go after some more walleyes. Maybe even get in some uh, nice uh, uh, northern pike as well. See what happens. There we go. There we got one. Boy, you just, they're just sucking it in. Not a very big one, but a first wally of the day. Small guy? Yep, just a little one. Good start. There's a lot of wallies where we're at right now, they're just scattered. All I'm using is a, is a 3 8 ounce tungsten jig with the, you know, the traditional minnow. Uh, tungsten is, is awesome because it's actually more dense. This is actually a 3 8 ounce jig. But look how small that is. These walleyes are real lethargic. They're not active. All we're doing is just dragging these jigs on the bottom. I'm not lifting it up. They're just picking it up as we're dragging it along. It's the key right now. I mean, I've used other baits. Jig and wraps are all obviously really, really uh, effective. But right now, they don't want that erratic jigging, they just want something dragging right in front of them where they're picking it up. Oh yeah, he's fighting. That's a better one. Little rocket. Definitely, they definitely fight and they're fat. Perfect shore lunch walleye. They're again, just, just dragging that middle along, right? You're not, yep. you're not doing any kind of jigging action or nothing nope, like that? Just where it starts to get shallow to the deep. Yep. On the edges, that's where they just seem to be laying right there. You just drag it up the top, and then when, as soon as it hits the top there, that edge, that's when they hit. There's, there's one. There's a fish. It's dragging, dragging, dragging. Dragging minnows. Jigging minnows. The ticket, Stu. I think so. It's a little better. It's a little better one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Quit, quit. They're lively when they get in the net, that's for sure. Look at that thing. Absolutely buried that jig. So it's not that they're not feeding. They just want a really super easy meal. So, you know, don't overthink it. Just, just give them what they want. I mean, you're talking a beautiful eating KB Lake walleye. Hey, did you know that black bears are not always black? The color, also known as pelage, can vary from region to region. The color can vary from whitish yellow to brown to cinnamon and, of course, black. Some black colored bears also have a white patch or white crest, usually in the upper chest or neck. Another fact is black bears are not always that big. Sows increase in weight for about six years, while boars continue to gain weight for twice that long. And many hunters are surprised to find out that the average black bear taken on a hunt ranges from 125 to 300 pounds. A lot of hunters think black bears are typically heavier than that. Occasionally, black bears are killed by hunters that weigh in excess of 500 pounds but smaller bears are more common for sure. 
Record book bears have been reported to weigh into the 700 pound range. That is far from typical and in fact, extremely rare. With the moon still up, we took off early this morning for another set at a different site where some bigger bear had been caught on camera. And with that, I headed off to try to connect bright and early. We've been in the business for 14 years. The, the camp has been, it was established in, I would say, 1970. And we've been slowly trying to, to bring it back around. We've been doing a bear hunt for about 10 years. And we've been pretty successful at it in the last little while. We've, uh, our numbers are, are pretty high. We try not to, it's only a small bear management area. And we usually only bring in, if there's only a couple of hunters, that's all that's in, in camp at the, at the one time so that we give the, the hunter the full range of their BMA. And it's not the numbers we, I look at, it's the quality of the hunt for the, for the person. It could be his first hunt, like for example, we just had a, a gentleman from Louisiana that just came in and it was his first hunt for bear anywhere. And he was here for six hours. He got a nice bear, 350 pounds. It was ecstatic for him, just to see the expressions on their faces and to know that when they go home, that it's been a, an experience of a lifetime for them. Uh, it'll always stick in their mind. And this gentleman, he was so happy with it that he's already booked for next year and he wants to bring back a friend that he's never bear hunted before just from that one experience. And he was only here for a day and a half and it, it makes a big difference on how, as soon as they step off that plane, the, the sea, it, it, it just, it's unbelievable. Just like any time you're hunting, it seems like it comes down to the last set. Well, that's what's happening right now. We actually moved to a new spot this morning, had action right out of the gates. We had two small bears. There's a, that big sow that we had seen on the far end, we were hunting it for four days, has moved to where we're sitting now. There's a couple of big boars that moved in. Things are happening right down to the gates, right down to the very end. Last sit tonight. We can't let it get by us now. It's gonna happen. We feel confident, don't we, Ken? We're gonna make it happen, I hope. We fly out early in the morning, so no chances pass today.
Our adventures here at Agitchi's KB Cabins has come to an end. We saw a ton of bears while we were here. Just didn't find one that we wanted to, to put our arrow into. If we would had one more day, I almost guarantee we would have found that right bear. We had big bears on trail cam, trail cam video. They were in the area. It was an amazing hunt. Agitchi's KB Cabins, the staff here, the food, it's all second to none. They treat you like family. I will be back. We even got some big walleyes. We got into some pike and we found one of those great big perch that uh, KB Nakagami is, is uh, famous for. I want to come back and, and uh, close this chapter on this bear hunt. Maybe next year, but it will happen. But for now, I hear the plane coming in. We got to head to our next Ontario experience.